I'm getting for getting ready for our next boat. Ready for our next bout now. Will be Cody Butler from Lockport at 75 pounds against Frank Meyer from Niagara Falls, New York, another 75 pounder. Frank Meyer is also a local, or somewhat local. He's from Niagara Falls, New York, and he is trained at Cassell's gym. Frank is trained at Ray Cassell's gym. Cassell's Fighting Arts in the Falls, very well known in amateur circles as one of the top-notch training centers for amateur boxing. You've just heard Stone Cold Cody, Cody Butler being introduced from Lockport. Again, obviously another house favorite. He's a nine-year-old student at Washington Hunt Elementary School. He's been training at Abdallah's gym for two years. Cody comes out ready to go with some good combinations, uh, going up good combos to the head, back and forth. Butler looks like he has a little bit of a size advantage here. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit of height, a little bit of weight, it looks like, also. I don't know if it's a different looking 75 pounds either way, but. Covering up. He's covering up. Frank is covering up. Holding. Just a break, basically. Right, in, Cody staying on top, moving in. Seems to me like Frank Meyer's uh, feeling Butler's size advantage. He's constantly backing up. I think maybe he might feel the power that Butler has. I think I think you're right. I think you're right, Charlie. It's it looked like uh, it started out even, but towards the end of the round, Frank was doing a lot of covering up and some retreat basically he's uh frank has fought in the junior olympics and uh, as i mentioned before has shown great heart and keeps stepping in there cody also holds a green belt in kickboxing and manages uh, in his busy schedule to tie in both boxing as well as kickboxing a hard trainer. I've seen him training in the gym at Ameris and uh, very hard worker, very hard worker. And especially for this age, one of the positive things about any sport, but boxing, especially in kickboxing, the discipline that he has developed at such a young age, self-discipline. Thing I noticed about this fight, I don't know, maybe I'm pretty sure you saw it too, that Butler went to the body. Unlike our last first fight, these guys are throwing a couple shots at the That's body. Some good combinations, exactly, good point, good point. Good point, Charlie. Cody's listening to his corner, obviously, and coming out uh, 
with a full barrage of, of punches. And Frankie, as always, uh, is, is hanging in there, but might see a little bit of uh, being overpowered here. Walk right into a, a straight left hand. And he's backing up. It looks like, yes, he is taking a standing eight. He's taking a standing eight. Good call. Good call. Round ends. Again, Cody having good Butler control. Come right out and just use his advantage of him being a little bit bigger. He just controlled the ring. That's a good point. That's a good point, Charlie. He he and also he realizes now. I think that uh, he has control of the fight. He has control of uh, Frankie Meyer in this case. And uh, again, you watch you watch for their motions and. Uh, Frank looked a little bit, a little bit uh, tired, a little bit done in, basically at the end of that last round. So we'll see what happens in this round. He's taking a lot of shots here. I think that has something to do with how he's backing up and he's fatigued exactly, a little bit. Exactly. It all it's cumulative, basically. Uh, that as the round goes on and more things happen. And that we've seen from Cody, he definitely does have the potential to become one of our nation's best juniors, and we're seeing why in this in this bout. The basics, the fundamentals are what we're looking at. Now it's become a little bit of a a little bit of a chase. Frankie is uh, is trying to hang in there, but gets to be gets to be overpowered and a never-ending street, basically. I gotta agree with you, though. You said he has great heart. The kid is definitely showing great heart because these little guys, these little guys may be small, but Butler packs a lot of power for his punches for being how big he is. Exactly. About his stop. Cody Butler, the winner. Again, both boys doing a good, a very good job, uh, basically. But that's what the referee is, is in there for, and, and he is the first to see and know what's going on. Made a very good decision. Enough's enough. Cody Butler, the winner. Yeah, by both boys. Both boys. Very nice job.
All you gotta tell me is your opinion in the box behind.